How many of you out there see the glass as half full? I'm sure there's a good few of you out there that do, but then at the same time, I'm sure there's a good few who see the complete opposite. People who just naturally gravitate towards the negative side of a situation. People who see the glass as half empty. Maybe within the next few minutes, I could give you something to think about. But before I get to the whole point of this little speech, I want to talk to you about a very influential person in my life, and that's my granddad. Now, I've never known my dad at all, but in place of him, I guess you could say I've had some father figures in my life, my granddad being the most prominent. You see, when I was a child, he was the one who took me to school in the mornings while my mum was busy at work. He was the one who took me out to places like Greenwich Park or to the seaside. But perhaps most importantly, he was the one who spurred me on to keep drawing. And without him, maybe I still wouldn't be drawing today. He said to me, if you have a talent for something, then you have to stick at it, or one day you'll start to lose it. And that's why I draw every day, even if it's just for a little while, just to keep up with it. He really was my dad in many ways, and that's why it hurt a lot when he started to change when he started to become slower and less able, when he started to deteriorate mentally. And it showed. Pulling 200 pound out of the bank for a pint of milk isn't exactly what I'd call healthy behavior. It was becoming clear he wasn't the man he used to be. And when those changes weren't just mental, but physical as well, well, that was when he had to get admitted to the hospital. And it was the hospital which he never left. He passed away on St. George's Day in 2008. Now, being the patriot that he was, I think he would have liked that. Now, I could look back on my time with my granddad in a pessimistic way. I could think about all those bad things that happened towards the end. But to be honest, that's no good for me, and it isn't for anyone else. You see, if you choose to look at a situation with discontent and sorrow, then what was the point of any of those good things happening at all? And that's not to say those bad memories should be forgotten completely, as they still give us something to learn from, but they shouldn't consume our everyday thoughts and actions and cloud our judgment. And they shouldn't come first place to all those good memories. So next time you're in a situation, or even looking back, try to focus more on the positive side. Because that side is of such more value to us, and so much better. See the glass as half full. <laughs>